the solar system, full of planets we know are there but just can't see. Well, tonight and for the next few weeks, you can. It's called a planetary parade when the planets align as they orbit the sun. For the first time in more than a decade, Venus, Mars, Saturn and Jupiter are putting on a celestial show together. Kara, really quick before we go, why is this rare? Why is this a rare occurrence? Just because of the random alignment of the planets, we don't get this opportunity to see all of them all at once. So it's a fantastic opportunity to get outside, bundle up, and just really enjoy this special occasion. All right, we look forward to it. From our perspective here on Earth, you'll be able to see them like this. Mars with its orange hue and Jupiter towards the north, Venus to the west, and just behind it, Saturn. They can all be seen with the naked eye, but a good pair of binoculars will help. The best time to look, about 60 to 90 minutes after Saturn sunset before Venus and Saturn drop below the horizon. And if that wasn't enough cosmic delight for you, there's more. A comet is making a guest appearance for the next few nights across the western horizon. These pictures were captured from Orange in central New South Wales. It's a rare sight. The next scheduled visit is 600,000 years from now. So the, um, the alignment, actually all the planets are always aligned because in our solar system, all the planets orbit around the sun in a flat disk. And so uh, the planets are always aligned from our perspective on the Earth. But what's really unusual is that we have um, four planets that you can see with the naked eye. They're some of the most spectacular planets as well, I must say. There are also two additional ones that we can't see with the naked eye. Planetary alignments that are minor, like two to three planets, happen very often. Um, especially with the inner planets, they can happen every few months. But when you get out to the gas giants, since they're very far out there, have bigger orbits moving a little bit slower, um, those occur about every few decades, I'd say, um, but they persist for a long period of time. So about every 20 years, we have an alignment between Jupiter and Saturn, and it'll persist for quite quite a bit of time, a few decades in itself. Um, so I'd say those four to six planet alignments can be frequent, um, but it depends on kind of where you are in its cycle. The planets will be visible into the first part of next month. It happened last Sunday, December the 3rd of 2012. The issue has been discussed by concerned scientists, social media, amateurs alike. Some consider it a scientific achievement of the ancient Egyptians, while others find it pure mythology. Over the past several months, people have been talking about a lineup of three planets over the three great pyramids of Giza. Is this fact or fiction? This is what we are trying to sort out today, tonight rather, and we are making an observation from a vantage point 137 meters above the sea level. We are going to give people the opportunity to uh, gaze at those planets themselves from a location that you can also see the pyramids so that they can find out whether there is a link or it is rather a myth. But we have also pointed out that there are genuine links between the Great Pyramids and the Orion Belt. Uh, uh, during the beginning of the summer, every June 21st, the sun sets behind Sphinx, just between the uh, largest two pyramids. Also, uh, twice a year, the sun shines or lights up the face of Ramses II. <laughs> The American University in Cairo's observatory has held fact-finding observation and panel discussion on the phenomenon from mountain in 6th of October city. The location overlooks the pyramids at 137 meters above the sea level, allowing scientific assessment and analysis of the claimed alignment. The panel will also highlight confirmed and more significant orientations of the Egyptian monuments and archaeology sites with stellar object, Ibrahim Yahya also spoke about the science itself with the pharaohs. Ahmed Nader for the Brexit.
Welcome back again. You're still watching The Breakfast Show. And as we've seen in the report, the planetary alignments on the pyramids of Giza, Dr. Ala Ibrahim, professor of physics at the American University, is going to actually tell us the whole story. Hello. Good morning, sir. Yes, uh, so we, we gather so that we can sort to the fact from the fiction, so that we can give people the chance to turn a public debate into a learning uh, chance. And this, what happened on uh, early morning of December the 3rd, uh, the short answer is we found that there is only one vantage point, one angle where you can see the three planets uh, on top of the pyramid. So it is not from every point, it is only from one vantage point. So there is part fact, part fiction. The fact part is there are three planets. Planets, not stars, three what planets, are they? Yes, Mercury, Venus and Saturn. They are lining up and we have some pictures that depict them and uh, they are lining up almost on a straight path. Depending on your location, you can change your angle so that you can put them on top of the pyramid, but you can also put them on top of any other place, on top of the Cairo And what towers. time was that? Uh, that was early morning. You can still see them. If you look east uh, from five to six in the morning, look east, you are gonna see three planets on top of each other. So that was a chance to let people know about uh, various types of stellar objects. Uh, people have gazed at planet Jupiter and those three um, planets. So it was an educational opportunity to empower people so that on their own, later on, they can be able to um, assess claims, to be able to sort arguments and to um, critically uh, look at natural phenomena and arrive at the right yes. answer. Doctor, usually when we talk about phenomena, yeah. especially that coming out of space, people start to tend to worry on if that would have any effect on the, the on, on, on the weather or the atmosphere question. of, of Earth, especially as we are at the last mm. month of 2012 and we've yes, seen a lot world. of movies <laughs> and the end of the world. Yeah, so, yeah, so when, do, when, when, can you <laughs> yeah, when can you tell uh, right. uh, if such phenomenon or, 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 or natural changes yeah. Uh, could affect Earth? We can predict ahead of time and uh, by and large most of these phenomena they are peaceful they don't harm us in any way most of the cosmic objects are playing a positive role to maintaining life on planet Earth the Sun, the Moon, uh, they play key role to maintain life on Earth um, it is only when you have an object on a collision course uh, uh, that would impact Earth. And this hasn't happened uh, for quite some time. I mean the large ones. There are small tiny objects that fall on our at atmosphere on daily basis and we see them during the night. This is what is called the shooting uh, star. When you see a um, uh, dot of light travels through the atmosphere but large bodies um, luckily they didn't come our way. NASA and other space agencies have intervention tools and means uh, by which we can avert the uh, threat from such object. This is um, why looking at the sky, uh, looking at the universe, uh, space are important not only to understand our place in the universe but for the well-being of planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Well, um, how are people how was the audience? How did people? Did a lot of people join the event? That, did they a lot that of people was come? the interesting part. We got more than 200 people. Oh. Uh, several of them were um, families. Some tourists that heard about the event, so they came to see what is going to happen. So this this was an interesting aspect to see how the, the Egyptian general public wanted to come to assess a popular uh, claim that has to do with the with the universe and also has to do with their ancient culture. Uh, how did they find that? Uh, they were able to see the three uh, planets with the naked eye. The three yeah, planets we were the we have the, and, and it's very interesting because, you know, looking at something so m magical like that, you know, but let people think back and see, well, were the pharaohs very clever enough to build the pyramids on a day of an alignment or <laughs> did that come by coincidence? Right. Or I mean, you know, the fact that it just stands on the top of each yeah. of the three pyramids of Giza. It just depends on your loc location. So this picture has some part fact and some part fiction. The, f the, the fact, as we pointed out, is the three um, planets are, are there. Not exactly in the way they are depicted right now. They are more um, vertical as everyone who is watching us. They can find out tomorrow or the day after. Look towards the east from 5 to 6 in the morning. You are going to see those. And, and uh, the other point is we pointed out that there are 
more interesting mm -hmm. lineups have been established. Well, Dr. Ala Ibrahim, Professor of Physics at the American University, we're very delighted to have you, and we Thank hope you. that we'd, of course, have you more in our episodes with more phenomenal yes. experiences so that happened <laughs> uh, in Egypt or around the world. That brings us to the end of our breakfast show episode this morning. I'm Yasmin Bakir and Rahma Zainuddin. We're joining you.